joined with Stitch and AVD from The Defiled. Hello. And uh, you're Hi. currently talking with Malefice. You're yeah. headlining tonight, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's awesome, man. We've been uh, fans of Malefice for years. I remember our first photo shoot we had in this dungeon, and this uh, album was playing. I was like, what the fuck is that, man? It's awesome. It's like Malefice. I was like, all right, cool. So, yeah. It's awesome to try with them now. Right, so, um, let's go back to the beginning of the file. Can you give me a potted issue of the band, how it's all started and that? I think we all joined, we all moved to, we're, never, we're not originally from London, are no, we? None of us are actually originally from London. Like, so where are you all from then? We, we, got, we came here to follow our dream <laughs> and met each other. <laughs> he apparently is my dream. Hey dreams, <laughs> dream boy. <laughs> yeah, none of us really knew each other beforehand, like we found a few people from ads. We, how did we even meet? We met on the street. <laughs> We're hanging out on the street, you know. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, you met a friend of mine, and you were uh, oh, uh, yeah. like, Do you know a drummer? Oh, yeah, I used to be a drummer originally. Yeah, I used to play the drums. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, we just, you know. You, you switched the keyboards and programming and samples and all that electronic wizardry, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, what was the cause of the switch? Well, I do that. I'm a musician, damn it. <laughs> As, uh, 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 what's his name said? Someone, some really famous musician said, give me a chair, I'll make music out of it. <laughs> no, it's interesting because, I mean, there's a lot of this kind of uh, dance, um, rock, fusion stuff. Um, I call us dance no, rock. No, 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 I'll, I'll come back in a minute. <laughs> yeah. But, um, you know, and a lot of it is, I'm thinking of, um, oh, there's... Uh, was all they doing's last album, which basically they recorded it and then got some DJ to chop it up and really? make oh, beeping no. noises over it. Yeah. Okay. Um, but you guys said to be sort of like, you know, you're using certain parts of the kind of, you know, the elements, elements of the dance yeah. stuff. You're still using it to construct real songs around it. Yeah. Um, <coughs> what's the inspiration for that kind of? Uh, um, gizmo, gizmo whatever. Well, I think growing up, we used to listen to bands like uh, Ministry, Nine Inch Nails, and um, they never used it in a dance sense. Mm. And I, yeah, they've always used it in a rock sense. Um, yeah. Some bands nowadays, especially a lot of American bands, are just going too overboard with it. Where it's like when you start using really over produced vocoders and stuff yeah. in trance music, music suddenly need to think about what you're making. Yeah, because it rocks about raw emotion, isn't it? And yeah. the more um, you produce, yeah. I mean, I think there was certain, a couple of Metallica albums yeah. that the band I used to love, but now I can't stand because all the yeah. fire's been produced yeah. out of them. Yeah, yeah. but you can see my Personally, growing up, I hated metal bands with uh, keyboard players. <laughs> and that's, that's one thing that drives me to make it something that, as a kid, I'd be like, yeah, man, you did a... There were very few bands I'd listen to with electronics and keyboards in it. Right, now, as a band, the Defiled, you've got quite a dark sound, dark image. Um, where does that come from? Are you dark people, or are you kind of more... Bunch of goths, aren't we? We've always kind of said we struggle to play with other bands quite a lot, especially when we're trying to get support slots, so no one kind of would even consider us. We've always kind of said that we're too goth for metal and some metal for goths, we can kind of never really win, so... I'd say, like, it's a, it's an outlet for us. I, I think metal people are some of the happiest people uh, in the world because you get to release all that frustration, pain, anger, you know, in the music. And, uh, it's, uh, it's cathartic, I think, metal, and, like, I think you can just go on with your life and smile. Right, now, your new album, uh, not out yet, is it, the no. next one, uh, Daggers it's going to be called, Coming Up Nuclear Blast. Now, you recorded it with Jason Slukoff in uh, Florida. Yeah. Um, I guess the record for people listening at home, his production credits run from Trivium, Job for a Cowboy, Devil Driver, Whitechapel, you name a, a hip and good metal band from anywhere in the world, he's produced. How did that collaboration come about? We just always said we wanted to sound as things we heard um, old Bury Your Dead records. I remember hearing that years ago and thinking, you know, listen to that guitar tone and then, you know, if we ever do anything in a band, if we can never get any money together, 
it's really good to use that guy. So as soon as we got asked who we'd like to use, we're like, we'd like to use that guy. That would be amazing. So yeah. he got in touch too. Yeah, he came to us. We met with him a year before, and then we went out there a year later and did it. And then a year later, it'll come out. Yeah. Yeah. So what later. was it like recording in Florida? Because obviously, relocating from the, from the big smoke over yeah. over there, it's a different it, culture, it, different. Mm. Completely, it was really hard. Like, grow, you know, doing a band in London, it's really manic, and every day we call each other, right? What are we doing today? But it's like really manic. So we were, yeah, we were yeah. ready to do eighteen-hour days and whatever it takes. Stay up for three days, and we got there. We wouldn't start working till like nine in the evening. Work for three hours, and then it's like that's enough, guys. We've done this. Get in the pub. <laughs> yeah, it was just it was a bit it's strange, stressful because it was so like, relaxed. Yeah, because it's strange. Because for us, it's our baby, isn't it? It's what we've worked for our whole lives, and to see someone so relaxed about it just makes you lose your mind a bit. So, um, so yeah, it was, it was it was good. It was good, but we didn't realize it was going to be such a holiday. <laughs> yeah, it was at least we had a holiday. We had a summer vacation, yeah, I yeah. guess. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, right. So uh, you've also you recently did the Jagermeister tour with Kajora, um, Ghost, and who else was on the bill with you? Local openers. Local openers. That's right. Yeah. How did that go down? Because I mean, I'm a big fan of both Ghost and Ghost and Kajora, two bands I worked with. Yeah. You know. Of course, you have to go, Jerry. You cannot not respect them. They're mm. amazing musicians. Yeah. 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 Ye
the guitar tones and things like that. That's that something that you... Songwriting, though, wise, I was quite happy with it. I think we've stepped up a lot for this next record. Mm. Any idea when that's coming out yet? Uh, summer. Summer, end of summer. And what's the label is it out on, do you Maybe know? Nuclear Blast. Nuclear Blast, cool. And they will be sent to be a copy. Okay. They sent me the two singles already, so, so I'm looking what forward to that. What did you think? I thought they were very good. I mean, oh, I love cool. the I love Grave Times, but oh, I nice. thought that was the step on, you know. Oh, oh cool. Um, so, uh, your this is the is this the last night of the tour, or are you are you carrying on without this? Is the this? last night um, on the south kind of dates, and then we have um, with one last breath for the next lot. I think we've got oh, they're a damn good actors, well, haven't they? Never seen them. I've, ah. I haven't even. Oh, I've never seen them, but I've yeah. got their. I've never even heard the, them. They're, they're <laughs> just <laughs> that. I mean, either, to be honest. Are they good? Yeah, a bit sort of hardcore, met- metalcore-y type band. They're yeah, cool. I've heard they're getting quite good at the moment, but they're blowing up a little bit, so... Yeah. We have five days to work on some music, yeah, and then we'll days off, and then we go back to it again. And then we have some shows in Europe, and some festivals. Where are you off to in Europe? Anywhere nice? Uh, just Germany, and, uh, Copenhagen, and... Copenhagen. Copenhagen is a really cool festival we're doing there with the slight dancing ghosts and Alice in Chains. Oh, what's that? Cool. And King Diamond. Oh, yeah. oh yes! Don't forget oh, King Diamond. That's really quite good. Yeah. yeah. Massive versatile folk family. Yeah, nice. Okay, and then long term kind of thing, you're gonna. Are you one of these bands that likes to constantly work? Are you going to finish your tour and straight back into the studio again? Are you right. writing new material as you go? Yeah, we've, we've, started, we've written quite a lot recently. Um, we've got like an EP ready of other stuff yeah. to come out later in the year. Um, we're just, from August onwards, we'll just be on tour, I guess. Like, this will be the last run of shows before the record's out. We'll have like a couple of months off to prep everything. Yeah. I, hear, I hear bands say, oh, touring and this and that and it's so tiring it's like all we want to do is just travel the world and tour man like and that's we finally you know nuclear blast has believed in us and is going to give us a worldwide release and gives us the chance to do what we've always wanted to do so hopefully we'll be on the road for like a year and uh so you got uh 10 years time where do you see the divide oh, oh. still together um you know, or uh, playing in Hopefully. Las Vegas or what? Yeah, yeah we could pick up crooners in Vegas, that'd be amazing. Who knows? Five Might die tomorrow. Three. If we don't, I guess it's we'll do it. Idea, they were like, I think it was Paul actually said, if you get to 40, he'll be unbelievably surprised. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody, like, uh, they had like a pool on me. Our booking agent had me as the number one on her roster to die. I was like, what the f- man? And so I started working out and eating healthily for about a few months. <laughs> and then lost it again now. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, well, I think that's about it because I've got to make a move. Okay, guys, I've got to shoot.